Hello everybody, Video King here and welcome to Roblox 64, one of the most interesting games on Roblox that I've played recently. Now, if I were to describe this game in one word and one word only, you wanna know what I would say? Random. This game is random and I love it. I played through it, I completed it 100%, and I'm gonna let's play it on my channel, more like a walkthrough, kind of like the lab. And I got 2018 that I never actually finished. So yeah, today we're playing Robot 64 on Robot 64, not Robot 64. That's a kid's game. So yeah, today we're playing Robot 64, one of the most random games on Roblox, created by the same creator who made Cube Cavern that my friend uh, or my cousin played and introduced me to. Like this creator did a lot of games that I would probably want to play in the future. Excuse me, sorry, I just ate dinner before I did this. But no, seriously though, I did. I didn't mean for it to be a mark for the reference. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, I think that's all I had to say. Let's just go right into the game now. And we play as a robot, of course, with the number two. And, uh... Already we have some robot guy, other guy telling us what to do. But yeah, this is just spin attack. This is completely useless until you get to use that. It'll let you hover in the air. Oh, and also too, that's also how you jump, you have to press the space bar. But, okay, that's enough explaining for me. Let's actually, uh, get explained by this guy. Hello, my name is Dr. Smart Chibus, but you are, but you can call me Dr. Smart. Your name is Beepo, hear that? B-E-E-B-O. Me Smart, you Beepo. Yeah, I can understand what you're saying. Oh good, your speech module is working. Okay, first off, head over there to that wall and break the boxes with your spin attack. I'll meet you on the other side. What the heck? Okay, whatever. But yeah, this is Dr. Smart Chibbles. Chibbles. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but whatever. I have no idea why I went for that voice, and it's just sounded um, more sciencey. So, who is this guy? Junior Gregauger. Okay, Junior, you just stay there with your non-hat. Yeah, why is it in a hat? Whatever. Jump space, of course. Before you head on your way, I'd like to say... Congrats! You have successfully passed the first task of many to come. Not a lot of robots can do this, you know. Artificial intelligence isn't cheap. Indeed, it isn't cheap. Anyway, over here is a gap that may or may not lead to your death if you happen to fall down it. Very subtle, Dr. Smar. Very subtle. I have no idea why I'm doing this. Okay. Go ahead and jump space right across. I think I read that wrong or whatever. But yeah, that was pretty easy. Oh, you didn't even need to jump it up. I just rely on the jump jump a lot for some reason. Yeah, that's a double jump. Well done, Beepo. You're learning so fast. Uh, excuse me, I have an itch. Okay. Okay. Over here, we have the dreaded wall. Da -da -da. Jump twice in the air and just get right into it. Over it, sorry. Yeah. Oh, and also, the things we've been collecting are just candies. They're completely useless. No, literally. There's a shop, and uh, all your purchases are saved even when you start a new game, so uh, they're completely useless. And you have infinite lives in this game. Well, not infinite, but whatever, I'll explain it later, but yeah. Yeah, that's how you're long. Now this one is a little bit tricky. You could just double... Sorry. You could just double jump across, but that's lame and boring. Instead, I want you to crouch left shift towards... Left shift towards the gap, and space right across it. Ignore what I just did there. This is called a log jump. Very useful for speed and crossing large gaps like this one. Got an itch. Itch on it. Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, he's right. We could just double cross double across it. Haha, -ha, I disobeyed you. Ha 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 ha. But let's see. That was a backflip. That's how you do it. And I missed a candy. Let's go back. 
supposed to do it in rapid succession. They forgot to tell you that. That that's how you do it. You have to press shift for a long time and then do that. That'll be your best friend in the last uh, level. Well, not the last, but you know what I mean. Okay. And that's how you ground pound. Space and left shift. Oh, also, this game is auto save, so. Yay! I'm impressed, Vipo. It seems like you don't don't even need my help at all. However, it doesn't hurt to tell you this one. As you might have noticed, these boxes are in the ground. Any solution is just grand founded by Taji. A crouch left shift in midair. Yep, like that. And then break all the boxes with the spin. Boxes! Remember the old gold, gold the days of Markiplier when he and Yami Mash used to, to do stuff? Good times. Don't even know why. I don't even. I actually forgot why they stopped. Ugh, it's cheap. Oh, it wall run, wall jump, space. This one is gonna take some real talent, Bebo. I'm pretty sure I've installed the talent unit somewhere in you. Forgot the voice for a second there. What you wanna do is wall run right across. Then wall jump to the next wall. I missed every single game. I'm sorry, it's the completionist things I made. Whoa! I didn't realize you could do that. No! No! Ooh. Oh, mamma mia, pizza pie! <laughs> that was close! Because I do have talent in me. Said, get the candy. Get the gosh darn candy! Thank you. Oh, no, you missed one. Thank you. Wait, I thought I went. Okay, hold on. Wait, I want to try something. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I completely skipped the wall jump segment. Take that, Dr. Spar. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. That's exactly what it says. Did I destroy the sun? Alright. Alright, Fico. Your next task is insane. But I believe you can do it. You gotta get rid of the sun! What's the sun, you ask? Well, it's this giant ball of fire in the sky! It's gonna kill us if you don't get rid of that, Fico! How, how am I gonna do that? Am I just going to throw a bunch of ice cream at it? Well, my plan was to get about 3,000 water guns in, but that's a better idea. Go, Bebo! Collect those ice creams and launch them at the sun! And for the sake of Robot 64 to have a proper narrative. Yep. You have been giving the task to destroy the sun. Oh, to destroy the sun. Okay, that's not gonna work. The sun! The sun! There we go. And, uh... Yeah. You're like, what the sun is vital for the economy and whatever that. Uh, uh. Oh, excuse me. Right, as I was saying. But the sun is part of the economy or whatever, and it needs to. I will die if the sun falls out and I'll die of that. Trust me, it'll all make sense in the future. But right now, let's just assume that Beepo is the bad guy. And just go out of the tutorial. Finally. Took us almost nine minutes to do it. Any day now. Welcome to. I said welcome to. The hub. Enter levels here. And look at that, there's already an ice cream floating in midair. I look a sign. Sheldon sign. Hey there, I'm a Sheldon sign. I will be giving you tips and tricks. For starters, try going into that building over there and jump into a computer screen. What if I don't want to? I'm not your mama. Do you do what you want? Wait, is that a girl? Whatever. Yeah, well, I was gonna go in there regardless of what you said. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Beepo and his, uh... Vince, Vince humor, as I call it. But look at that. We can't go inside without an ice cream. 
But if you try really hard, we can exploit a grid. No, I'm just kidding. But let's explore the hub real quick before we end. Okay, over here is two extra levels that you can go into if you have Robux. And then over here is a level creator, which I'm uh, pretty, pretty sure no one really wants to do. Oh. The level creator is under construction. Please check back later when it's fixed. Thank you for your patience. Wait, wait, hold on, really? Wait, really? It worked before. I didn't re I thought it didn't even work or what? And why I'm so confuzzled? The confuzzlation is real. I never actually went in there though, that's the thing. Whatever, we'll explore it later, but it's probably fixed. But anyway, oh no, I can't get this ice cream. It's too far up in the air. Oh, hold on, I missed it. <laughs> you can jump. Oh, sorry, itches. Pimples itch, you know. All right, so yeah, now we got our one ice. Oh, sorry, one ice cream. We can boosh. Welcome to be the size of a person. Sign and be jealous. As you can see, my room is not completely dark. It's just the way I'm recording it makes it look like the dark. You tire of broken finger decks? Try the brand freaking new Bleefang Grow. There's a chance you'll like it. Trademark. Alright, yeah. Let's explore this real quick. Wanna buy 100 candies? It also happens to throw a party in here. It costs 10 Robux. Which I don't have, cause I'm poor as boop. I'm poor as boop. I'm an adult channel now. Deal with it. And Rusty. Hey there, Robo Boy. You need to buy something? Yeah, I already bought this. Would you like to take this off? Oh, wait. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Seems like this one was made to avoid copyright. It changes color with you, too. Oh, excuse me. I never really found out how to change colors. Got this one on the train. I wonder who was using it. Oh, yeah, that's hat and time reference. <laughs> Classic sombrero. Can only get better from here if you wear this. It's just a normal rock. But hey, it also counts as a cool hat, right? I actually thought it was one of those winter bundle hats, but nope, it was just a rock. My personal favorite that I would probably get later on. Yeah, I saved these for when I buy them in the Let's Play, so these are gonna be mine. It costs 800 candy, so yeah. There's nothing more cool than rocking some wicked shades. A robot can have style too. Bees! Praise be to the bubble. AKA BB's hat. Not sure what, uh, what the purpose of this is. It doesn't even let you fly. It looks cool though. And then, Green Sauce! Stop in Omniverse! And the Philosopher's Stone! Top 7. Machikalakabaki! Machikalabaki! Wachalaka! Okay, I'm done with the circular references. This smells like garbage. I guess that isn't a problem for you if you're a robot. Green sauce. All right, I, yeah, I think we're still. All right, and then there's the rest of these cans. And then whenever you're new to this game, you get one coin to touch these. I already used my coin to get something worthless, which was I think it was the vine sauce hat. My trash can provide the finest item you will ever see. If you got a token, feel free to pop it in with open with your spin attack. And I want oh. All right. So yeah, we have time. Let's go to the first level, the first world of this game, Turtle Tops. Oh. The texture just a little for a second there. <laughs> uh, loading issues. Did you guys just see a name go by? This game is already random. 
Oh, yep, see, it looks bad. Super. Oh, yeah, let's not try it. Alright, let's just go into this. There's a glitch there where your hats don't actually shrink down with you. Welcome to. Well, turtle tops, but, uh, an isle in the sky. of snowball in july it's actually july right now so uh 7-eleven baby i'm oh, sorry 7-eleven baby yeah these are rabbit people and also you can go in first person even though it doesn't really work shout out to simple lips what oh it's nothing no, it's not. What does that mean? Shout out to Simple Flips. Is that all you do? Yes. Oh, and look at this. Houseception right there. Houseception. House frickin' Jepception. Sorry, forgot the word for second. Do not talk to that guy. Just don't. Trust me. You'll just be ill to uh, activate the minigame. I kind of want to explore this place a little bit. Oh, hey! The, the developer changed the, the... This house here used to be right here to be hidden, but I guess he changed it to here to make it more... special. But for our first ice cream here, I think we should go in here. And then maybe, uh, talk to, talk to that rabbit. If you've seen the Spongebob uh, Squarepants movie PS2 game, then uh, it's like those little mini levels where you uh, press a button. Like, it's like one of those like, battle enemy stations or mid level thing. It's just like that, but it's not really battle enemies. I wish it was battle enemies, but enemies are useless in this game. Except for some, which are just playing But yeah, basically it's just a basic platforming level, which can be difficult if you're doing this game. But it's a basic cakewalk. I said it was a basic cakewalk. You didn't have to make me a liar. Stupid freaking game. Burglar, 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 burglar. Back to pay, ba, 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 ba. Also. Also. Go up here. Invisible condies. Ooh. I will never make that face again. Bury the trauma. Nailed it. No candies. Gandhi, 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 Gandhi. No, my Gandhi. All right. Phew. We got the candy and survived. Say so that's a win-win situation there. There's the second ice cream of the game, and the first ice cream of Turtle Tops. Always wash your hands. Or your mouth. Bleep 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 bleep! Alright. And the candies respawn, but I don't want to grab them, because we already grabbed them. Alright. I just- I just love this guy. Hey, boy, ever see the top of the mountain? Wait, wait a minute, what? Okay, ready to go, let's go! Oh my gosh, that's basically me, in a nutshell. So, uh, if you've seen the Koopa Quick, the Quick Stars from Super Mario 64, then this is basically these. Because, you know, this game is basically a uh, parody of Super Mario 64. Or by 64, it should have been obvious. And no time to explore this mountain, we gotta go! Even 
even though that rabbit's probably still down there, maybe. I don't know. I might actually lose this. I might actually lose this. At least now this is an actual challenge. Forget the candies, forget the candies. Woo! Okay. Okay. We did it. That was a close one. Oh my gosh. That was the closest I've ever been to actually losing a race with this guy. How could this happen? Um, I'm just faster than you, buddy. Treads to the top of the turtle tops. No treads to the top of turtle tops. His name is Speed Boy. I actually forgot what the others are named, but you can dive. B. When on the ground, he uses jetpack. You can press S to pull up and W to dive down. It's more of a glider now than I think about it. It actually is, but we're not gonna pick it up because uh. You're supposed to do that later. These things are called fireflies. It'll be useful a little bit later on, but for now, let's get this ice cream. I'm actually kind of getting nostalgic vibes because this game is an early demo way back when I was uh, still starting out Roblox a little bit. But actually, no, that was like a while ago. Okay, so it was in the middle, like, around... I don't know. Across the spinning platforms, yeah. This game came out a little while ago as a demo. And yeah, basically just uh, got nostalgia for Turtles House because it was the only level available. And look at this. This is cool. I've got this wicked itch on my back, but I'm not sure what's causing it. Not sure how to tell you this, but you've got a tree growing out of there. Very funny. Now tell me what is actually there. Maybe this guy has roots in his brain. Boy! That's all. Boy. And just break these bacteries! To free the fireflies. And then. <gasps> Enemigos! Enemigos! I'll destroy you all! Ow. You can spin jet, but this is why the, the spin jet is useless. You just jump on them like Mario. Romilo. Man, nature is so beautiful. Listen, I hate to interrupt your nature. Oh, it's not. Listen, I'd hate to interrupt your nature looking time, but do you know where I can find some ice cream? You're moving too fast, man. Take a breath of fresh air and soak in the beauty, man. I am literally incapable of breathing. <laughs> oh my gosh, my uh, my cousin just cracked up at this joke. Literally, he's a robot. He's literally incapable of breathing. All right, Let's just waste some time grabbing these candies because I want those cool shades. I say specifically for this let's play. What am I doing with my life? No one even watches my videos. Even though I have 200, almost 200 subscribers, but they're all because of some one video that's literally just a cringy plush video. Like seriously, why do people watch it? <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me. Hello there, passenger. I am the captain of the ship. I lead this boat across many lands of Papatopia? That's new. What? You're on a flying turtle right now. This isn't a boat. What? what do you mean? I'm not on a boat? All this time, I couldn't turn around. No, it can't be true. Just look at my righteous beard and my captain's hook. Oh, he's a pirate. No, it can't be true. Look at my righteous beard and my captain's hook. I don't suppose you realize you're a sign either. I gotta read that entire thing again. Hello there, passenger. I am the captain of this ship, Arg. I lead this boat across the many lands of Papatopia. Well, what do you mean? I'm not on a boat? All this time, I couldn't turn around. No, I can't. Okay, yeah, there we go. Just wanted to read that again in the pirate's voice. No! 
time on Robot 64. Robot 64, we will go into that void and then find out what's in that lighthouse and probably finish up Turtle Tops here. See you guys then. Bye-bye!